welcome back to my channel. I'm Patricia Lohan, a feng shui expert, manifesting queen, and uh, Mary Poppins of prosperity and abundance. Now, I am so excited to share with you today about how to feng shui your closet. Now, you may be wondering, oh, feng shui my closet, she's gonna tell me to throw everything out. That is not the case, but we are going to dive deep into the practice of feng shui to call in what it is that you want and to make a space that you absolutely love and everything in your wardrobe feels amazing. So we are looking at how to feng shui your closet. We're gonna look at a certain few areas today and I can't wait to share them with you. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here. Don't forget if you enjoyed this video to hit the like button and the subscribe button because there are more to come. I go live every single Thursday at 2 p.m. Irish time to share another video on feng shui. So where do we start with feng shui in your closet? The first thing we do when we come to our closet is I want you to open it and have a look and see how you feel. Do you feel like, oh my God, my closet? Or do you feel like, oh my God, I love everything in here and there's so much space for amazing things. That is going to be an indicator of, you know, what level of work you're going to have to do with feng shui in your closet. But honestly, don't be daunted because when you start to feng shui your closet, you are going to feel so much happier and brighter and also so much more fulfilled with what you are wearing every single day. So the first thing I'm gonna to say to you is, come into that place and decide how you feel and then just go, I'm letting that go and I'm making a decision to create a closet and feng shui my closet in a way that actually makes me feel really good and that everything in here is going to make me feel great. So first thing we're gonna look at is I want you to go through your clothes from a very non-attached place and go through them and look for clothes that have tears, rips, that are worn, really old, maybe saggy, that's the first thing we're gonna look at. And those clothes are gonna come out and be taken out immediately. If you are wearing clothes that are old or ripped or broken or buttons are torn or they're all like saggy, they are depleting your energy. Anything in feng shui, you know, really what we want is, feng shui is all about life, it's all about chi, it's all about things being vibrant and alive. But if things have, have rips or tears, they're depleting your energy. And even if you don't notice it when you're wearing it, it's just not gonna feel so good. And what does it say about you if you're just holding on to old clothes that feel saggy and not so good or have rips and tears? You don't want that depleting energy on you ever. So that's the first layer of clearing from your wardrobe. Go through them and see what is just not actually in good working order. The next thing we're going to look at in the wardrobe is to move through your underwear drawer. Yes, tackling the underwear drawer is one of my favorite places because sometimes we can find some really bizarre things in the knicker drawer that we're like, how do I still have this? Do I really want to wear this tiny pair of knickers? Or are these ones gone a bit saggy and gross? So the first thing again, we just wanna go through our underwear drawer and make sure that everything fits us, that it's um, beautiful and vibrant. And if it's not, don't worry, just let it go. When we start to let go of things out of our wardrobe and our underwear drawer, we start to make space for new things. If our underwear drawer is jam-packed and so is our closet, there's no space for new things. So we want to be able to open our drawer, clearly see what's there, and also recognize what are the things that I could be calling in new to really feel good. Your underwear is such a powerful one because it's something you wear every single day. And imagine every day putting on new underwear and bras that you feel like so happy and joyous and comfortable in. Yes, and that's like a gift for you. So now we've looked at two things in our closet, your underwear and anything that's broken and ripped or not, and that could be depleting your energy. The third thing we're gonna then look at is things that may not fit. So. I know, I've been there. We can have items in our wardrobe that don't fit us properly. And to be honest, sometimes those pieces can be loaded in guilt because they're either too small or too big and our size has fluctuated. So what I would say to you is go through your wardrobe and find the things that fit you perfectly. That's where you are right now. Now there is so many amazing resources out there and I want to specifically call out Gina Swire, who's a beautiful self-love and body harmony mentor because she's inspired 
inspired me so much about just letting go of any of the guilt or, or shame or worry or just stress about clothes um, and my body and just being like, this is where I'm at and I'm gonna have what I absolutely love in my wardrobe and it doesn't fit me, whether it's too big or too small, I'm just let it go and realize that there is plenty more amazing clothes out there. There's plenty more gorgeous pieces that you're calling in, but right now, if your closet is full of things that are too big, too small, every time you walk in there, you're gonna feel this kind of weird feeling and mixed emotions. We don't want that, and that is actually going to create disharmony inside of us, which is not what feng shui is about. Feng shui is about having harmony, balance, ease, and joy, and that's what you want when you move in and look at your closet. So we've looked at taking and letting go of anything that's too big, too small, and letting those go, and also letting go of any of the worry, the shame, the guilt that goes along with those clothes. It's time to cut those cords and release them. And now you should be looking at your wardrobe and seeing, wow, these pieces are pieces that I feel good in, they are comfortable, and they all are in good working order. This also gives you an opportunity to see some hangers, maybe find some new pieces that you forgot all about that were in your wardrobe, and you can start to realize that, wow, it's opening up, and that's what feng shui is also about. It's about having more ease, more flow, and more energy in that place. Because those pieces that could have been too big, too small, or that are ripped or broken, or not working fully, they are creating stagnancy in your wardrobe. If they haven't been touched or worn, they're actually depleted, they're actually creating stagnancy. So there's no chi or flow in that space. So good idea, as we let go of it, you're like, wow, it's opening up. Now, every single piece that you have now, maybe you've got two pieces, 10 pieces, 20 pieces. I want you to hold every piece and just thank it. Thank it for the joy it brought you. Thank it for what it called into your life. And then I want you to think about what you are replacing it with. So maybe you're letting go of these big skanky knickers that you don't like anymore. And you're going, I'm gonna call in the most comfortable, amazing, soft, luxurious new underwear in replacement of that. And maybe you're looking at this ball gown that you have worn in like 10 years and you're like oh that dress I'm letting go of that to bring in a beautiful dress that I wear every day that brings me so much joy and it's so comfortable and happy and I'm letting go of it so that's where we're going to stop with feng shui in our closet today um, there is a lot there to take in I would say take baby steps you know start with maybe just one of those things you don't have to do it all in one go I know what I like to do is just like one cupboard at a time so maybe you're gonna decide to do your lingerie and clear that out and feel how good it feels and then to be honest when you start with feng shui, it's like exercise. <laughs> you know, you're building that muscle and you're building that muscle of letting go. Um, so let go of the things that don't have so, so much emotive value, like the knickers um, and the socks, and then move on to maybe the closet and let go of the things that are not working and then on to the things that may have a more emotive value. But each and every one of them, decide what you want to replace it with. Maybe you're letting go of a pair of jeans that have a rip and then you welcome in brand new amazing jeans that are even more comfortable and beautiful and sexy on you. So thanks for being here. I hope you enjoyed this. Of course, let me know if you have any questions. Please pop them in the comments below. Please like and comment if you're taking action on your wardrobe. Let me know. Happy feng shuiing. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell to get notifications when the next video goes live. I'm Patricia, your feng shui expert. I can't wait to support you, guide you in making your home the most harmonious, magnetic place for all of the things that you want to call in.